we can check that the expression we see on the screen defines the variable y as an implicit function of x in x equals 0. We are told that y in 0 is equal 0, that is, when x is 0, y is also 0. We are asked to calculate the first and the second derivative of y in 0. This is the classical problem to derivate implicitly and what we'll do is from this expression derivate respect x. We have x times e raised to y that is a product of functions. If we derivate it respect x it would be the, der the derivative of the first the derivative of x is 1 times the second element plus the first element times the second derivative. The derivative of e raised to a function is e raised to the function times the derivative of the exponent. And now minus, again we have a product of two functions, so the derivative would be the derivative of the first element times the second plus the first element times the second one derivated. This is equal to the derivative of 0, which is 0. Let's, let's write it this a bit clearer. e raised to y plus x times e raised to y times the derivative of y minus it changes the sign of everything inside the parentheses, so we have minus the derivative of y times the cosine of x plus y times the sine of x equal 0. From this expression, once we've calculated the derivative, we will use this expression to calculate the second derivative. To calculate the derivative of y in 0, the x is equal 0. So substituting the x as 0, we would have e raised to y in 0 plus 0 times e raised to y in 0 times the derivative of y in 0 minus the derivative of y in 0 times the cosine of 0 plus y in 0 times the sine of 0 equal 0. We can cross out these two elements as they are 0. So we would have e raised to y in 0, and as y in 0 is equal to 0, this is e raised to 0 minus the derivative of y in 0 times the cosine of 0, 1. So we have 1 minus the derivative of y in 0 equal 1. So the derivative of y in 0 is 1. We have just calculated the derivative of y in 0, which is equal 1. Now let's calculate the second derivative of y in 0. First, I'm going to make some space on the screen. And let's derivate the expression from where we've obtained the derivative of y. So e raised to, c to y is the derivative of y times e raised to y plus the derivative of the product of these three functions 
it would be the derivative of the first element times the second and the third element plus the first element times the derivative of the second times the third element plus the first and the second element times the derivative of the third element minus the derivative of the derivative of y times the cosine of x again a product so the first element derivative times the second plus as there's a minus sign here it would be minus the first element times the derivative of the second plus the derivative of y times the sine of x another product the first derivative times the second element plus the first times the derivative of the second equal zero writing it a bit clearer this is the same as 2 times the derivative of y times e raised to 2y plus x times e raised to y times the derivative of y square plus x times e raised to y times the second derivative of y minus the second derivative of y times the cosine of x plus the derivative of y times the sine of x as we have another element like this one this is 2 times the derivative of y times the sine of x plus y times the cosine of x equal 0 let me remind you that y in 0 is 0 and the derivative of y in 0 is 1 so substituting the x as 0 we would have 2 times the derivative of y in 0 times e raised to y in 0 plus 0 times e raised to y in 0 times the derivative of y in 0 square plus 0 times e raised to y in 0 times the second derivative of y in 0 minus the second derivative of y in 0 times the cosine of 0 plus 2 times the derivative of y in 0 times the sine of 0 plus y in 0 times the cosine of 0 equal 0 we can cross out a lot of terms here as they are 0 and we would have 2 times 1 times e raised to 0 minus the second derivative of y in 0 times 1 plus 0 times 1 equal 0 From here we obtain 2 minus the second derivative of y in 0 equals 0. So the second derivative of y in 0 would be equal to. And the derivative of y in 0 is 1. And the second derivative of y in 0 is 2.